CJTN presents a groundbreaking film from two-time Emmy Award-winning director Stan Moore. The Forgotten People, Christianity, and the Holocaust. Forgotten People, Christianity, and the Holocaust, the most important film every Christian must see. Anti-Semitism is still live and well, and the Holocaust never really ended. Anti-Semitism has been a part of Christianity for over two millennium, and today we're witnessing the rise of a new anti-Semitism, not only anti-Jewish, but also anti-Israel and anti-Zionist as well. We're less than 13 million Jews. There are close to two billion Christians. Unless we join hands with the Christians who join us in belief in a God of love and morality and peace, there's no hope for the free world. Is there a problem with Christian anti-Semitism? Absolutely. Is this a Jewish problem? I would say absolutely not. It's a Christian problem. Christian scholars, educators, teachers need to deal with the problem of Christian anti-Semitism. Through the centuries, and even today, most Christians remain silent in the face of this disease of hatred. This time, it is on our watch. Anti-Semitism and anti-Israel activities are at the highest rate globally since the days of the Nazis. Many of us are used to thinking that Israel cannot survive without the help of the United States. Maybe we should start wondering whether we can survive. We allow the terrorists to succeed in Israel. We make a terrible mistake if we deceive ourselves into thinking this is not our fight. In the end, the Israeli people are fighting the same enemy we are, cold-blooded killers who reject peace, who reject freedom, and who rule by the suicide vest the car bomb, and the human shield. The establishment and military success of Israel has fostered what has been termed a new anti-Semitism. Its advocates include the left, the far right, and radical Islamists. This new hatred is aimed at the state of Israel and Zionists, and thus the Jewish people as well. Since 1948, the Arab world has refused to come to terms with Israel's existence within any set of borders and has maintained a state of war with Israel. With the invention of the Palestinian people, Arab aggression and Islamo-fascism gained a political and moral pretense. The Arab fascists appear to the world to be pursuing a noble effort of protecting a mistreated and oppressed minority group. For there to be peace, most people believe that Israel must end its occupation of Palestinian land. The problem is that any Palestinian state, regardless of who rules it, will produce nothing but escalated violence, terror, and warfare in the Middle East. So in many respects, the two-state solution has much in common with the Nazis' final solution. Just another solution for killing Jews. Anti-Semitism still exists as well in the West. Nobody cares if Jews die, if Westerners die. Now we must pay attention. As pressure builds on Israel from the various anti-Semitic factions, as well as world opinion, there has been an upsurge in Jew hatred. Israel has been caricatured, portrayed over and over again as this evil empire. And it is an unbelievable currency now around the world, in Europe and so forth. The pressure on Israel today is twofold. Anti-Semitism and land compromise until Israel is so reduced it can be easily defeated. Their objective is not to have a two-state solution with somewhat different borders than Israel wants. When they talk about occupied Palestine, they mean Tel Aviv. They want to destroy the Jewish state. In our tolerant and modern Western society, is there a place for the state of Israel? And is there a cure for anti-Semitism? It's hard to imagine anti-Semitism going away entirely but Christians should be leading the way to eliminate it. We cannot let our Jewish brethren fight this battle alone. They have fought this battle alone for years with no one standing with them. 
Now it's time for Christians to rise up. Now it's time for us to take a stand. Now it's time for us to say, never again. The Forgotten People, Christianity and the Holocaust. For more information, go to pjtn.org. Ah!